So we finally got a couple of warm days here. So I'm in the mood to start up some air conditioners. As most of you know who have watched my videos before, there's the higher, the two identical sharp units, and the Samsung. Of course now we have these added on. It's a 6500 BTU GE, 8100 BTU GE, 8000 BTU LG, and 9500 BTU LG inverter. So I'm going to be starting all these up here. Okay, this unit is plugged in. Let's start it up. Compressor started instantly. This is an 8500 BTU air conditioner. It's got a Matsushita compressor and a Samsung fan motor. This is normal. It always ices up when it first started. Alright, I'm going to turn this one off now and we'll go on to the next one. Next up is the second sharp unit. This is identical to this one. So let's go ahead and start it up. I love the way these air conditioners sound. enough for that one. I'll start this uh, Samsung 10,200 BTU air conditioner up. Now it's time for the Samsung. This is a 10,200 BTU air conditioner. It's got a Samsung compressor and the fan motor is made by some Chinese company that I don't remember. So let's go ahead and turn it on. This one has a compressor delay after you plug it in so it's not going to start for a while. This air conditioner is from 2007 and both of the sharp units are from 1997. That'll do it for this one. Now we'll do the higher. 
This is a 5000 BTU higher air conditioner. It's about three years old now. So I have it on max cool, I believe. Fan speed should be on low, and we'll start it up. There's some debris in it that's rubbing, that's what that sound is. And uh, this air conditioner has a Quing An compressor and a higher fan motor. And that's about it for this one. Now it's time to start this one up. This is a 8100 BTU GE air conditioner. It has a, I believe, a GRI compressor in it. I'm pretty sure these uh, GE air conditioners from this era are made by GRI, so that would make sense. Pressure is on this side. do it for that one. Now uh, we'll do uh, we'll do this GE over here, the 6500 BTU. Alright, this one uh, turned on when I plugged it in for some reason, so that's why you can see the fan spinning down, but I uh, turned it off right away before the compressor started, so you'll be able to hear it start. This air conditioner has a Quing An compressor, just like that higher 5000 BTU air conditioner.
So for that one, now I'm going to start the regular LG air conditioner up. This is an 8000 BTU LG. It's got an LG compressor. I don't know who the fan motor is made by. This one is Wi-Fi enabled, as you can see. There's the control panel. So let's start it up. Last, we'll move over to this one. <clears throat> I hope the fan isn't still rubbing like it was. Alright, this is a 9500 BTU LG dual inverter air conditioner. It is uh, also Wi Fi enabled. Um, give you a close up of the control panel. This one had a problem with the indoor fan rubbing on the, some plastic inside of there. Uh, it seems to be less of an issue if you have something underneath it like I do right now. And I'm sure it'd be fine in a window, but if it's laying flat on the ground, it gets pretty bad. So, I don't know what the deal is. I know it's not a common problem with these, but let's turn it on. And we'll go to cool. Fan speed on low. Yeah, it's not running too bad right now. And I'm sure that rubbing will go away as time goes on because it'll just kind of wear itself off. So this is low fan speed to medium. And high. And then there is the sleep mode as well, which uh, slows the fan down even more. Yeah, this is a pretty quiet unit.
it would be even quieter if it was in a window and you weren't getting the noise from the outside part of it. But that's that one. And we do have the Idolus portable air conditioner, but I don't know if I'm going to do that one today or not. But that, that'll do it for all the uh, window air conditioners. And last but not least is the Idolus uh, 12,000 BTU portable air conditioner. This is just a single hose unit. Evaporator coils here. Got a filter behind this. And of course the condenser coil is down there near the compressor. So the rotary compressor, it's R410A. Um, these, uh, the Samsung and the two sharps are R22. Uh, that higher is R410A. Um, these two air conditioners, these DDs are R410A. And the two LGs are R32. So, alright, I'm going to start this one up. This one has a remote. So there's the sensor, power, mode, fan speed, timer, and temperature up and down. Alright, let's start it up. The condenser fan is separate from the evaporator fan. already cold. Feels good. And that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching.